Hi, welcome back to Select Obsession and thanks for watching. We're continuing with the build series on how to convert your old Honda into an electric hub drive Honda. Now remember to subscribe below to keep these videos coming. Now as far as creating the battery box, there's no real magic to it. Basically if you can measure and have a little bit of fabrication skills, you can absolutely do it. So the basic design for the battery box I used on the C200 and the CT90 all started with this 3 8 inch round stock. I first create a template out of cardboard making sure that my battery will fit within this template. Then I bend this stock so it matches the template. Now the original reason that I used this material was I felt it would give it a radius and potentially a better look. Now, a new design that I've been working on is this angular design, right? It doesn't have those round sweeping edges. It's more straight and angled. This will tuck up against the frame real tight, and then it'll have this exposed angle in the front. This box is primarily made out of that half inch angle iron with a few different sizes of flat stock. Now we are gonna build a design similar to that, but I've made some improvements. So on the one we're gonna build, I'm using this half inch angle again, but I'm also using some flat stock that I'm bending. So a little bit more about the template and how I get that template to fit the frame. So basically I design a template that's gonna fit up tight against the frame. It's not gonna affect the VIN on the other side, but it will require some cutting. So I make these cuts, we fabricate this box, and then we're gonna weld it on here and weld it on here. Now you can make a bolt-on style, and I'm gonna show you how you make the brackets for that. With my bolt-on style, I also cut the frame a bit, again, so it fits up nice and tight. It doesn't hang down super low. On my new design, it's very similar. It has virtually the same cuts that need to be done on the frame, and again, I'm gonna weld it right here. It fits nice and tight up against this area, so there's no funny spaces or anything. Before starting the project, I make detailed plans. Then from those plans, I make a cut list. From the cut list, I cut all my material. Then I'm ready to weld it all together. So now we're going to get started on the rounded style box. This one tends to be a little bit more difficult. You have to be able to bend two radiuses each side that match up real well. That can be a little bit difficult. You also have to make sure that it doesn't have any twists in it because that will make your box, of course, funny when it's all finished up. And then you're gonna have to weld some rails in here because the battery actually doesn't sit all the way down, it sits slightly above. So I'm gonna start welding on some top pieces. So now I've got the top welded on these two pieces. Basically I need to connect the sides. All right, we've got the two sides connected. Now we're just gonna get it all squared up. Then we're gonna basically attach some supports to the bottom. Then we'll basically have a square box. We'll put the rails in for the battery and a bunch of additional supports. All right, we've got all the top supports, the bottom supports. It's all squared up. Now we basically need to put the rails that the battery will sit on and then additional supports to actually weld it or bolt it to the bike. So here's the finished rounded style box. It's really straightforward as you can see. I've added these rails in here for the basically the battery to slide in and sit on. It's got some supports on the side so we can add our sheet metal. Some supports on the top again for our sheet metal and for our bracket. Same thing in the back. We've got this angled piece in the front right here for our battery to sit on so it doesn't slide out. Nothing special about it. All right, so here's the first part of the angled style box. I've got the ends welded on, the bottom rails in, and supports on. I'm making some good progress on this angled style box. I've got everything tacked up. Now I'm gonna weld in this top support right here. We've got both the battery boxes fabbed up. We've got the round style here, and the more angular style here. The big differences between the two battery boxes are 
The round one is a little bit more work. As I mentioned before, you've got to make these radiuses. It's also a little bit bigger because we had to accommodate for those radiuses. We had to build an internal frame to hold the battery. And just overall, it takes more time. The angular style, the battery just sits on these lower supports here. So it's really straightforward. The cuts are really easy to do and it goes together a lot faster. A few things to keep in mind when you're doing your battery boxes. Of course, your battery needs to fit. And I do leave a little bit of extra space typically for some padding. So as it vibrates, it doesn't actually wear through the case of the battery. I leave a little bit of space in the back and that allows enough room for the cables, so the discharge and the charge cable, to wrap through the box and come up into the bike. If you don't leave enough space, you're gonna have some pinched wires and it really becomes difficult to work with. Also, I do a little piece of angle iron on the bottom right here, and that allows a little platform for the battery to sit in and the battery not to slide forward. Aside from that, it's pretty basic. In the next segment, we're gonna really discuss the sheet metal, and how we skin this, and then how we're gonna mount it to the bike. Weld it, or use the brackets. So until next time, have a good day.